Hello, I'm from the government with an important announcement. Have you been getting the feeling lately that everything is going to shit? Don't worry, you're not imagining it. Scientists have coined a new term for the era we're living through. The enshittenment. When the enshittenment began is unclear. Evidence suggests probably around the time agriculture was adopted. But there is now a clear consensus that it is human caused and rapidly accelerating. What? I think she's doing a voiceover, right? She's just like, she pronounced all the words. And then she spoke it into a mo microphone off camera. And that's the audio that we're hearing. Watching everything go to shit everywhere. You can kind of tell if you if you pay attention. At the same time, can be overwhelming. That's why we're launching a new service to help keep you up to date. Where's humanity going to shit now? In today's episode of Where's Humanity Going? I feel like it's already it's the in shitting thing. It does. It's not funny. I'd rather they just point. To out. shit now. We look at Israel and Gaza, where a bunch of angry old fuckwits are massacring civilians and children as the world watches on. Humanity has. Okay, already I hate you. I hate this commercial. It's terrible. It's terrible propaganda because you just said that Netanyahu and what's his name? Sinwar. I think it's Sinwar, right? Sinwar and Netanyahu, the leader of Hamas, the leader of Israel, are both just the same. Same bloodshed, same angry old fuckwits, right? Massacring civilians and children as the world watches. Yes. So right away, this supposed honest government ad is cooked world watches on humanity has clearly gone to shit here and that's because one of the symptoms of enshittenment is the inability to hold more than one truth in the brain at the same time in oh, this case is that why because we've got a both sides we got to understand that hamas does bad things too is that where this is going three truths one hamas's attack on civilians in israel is fucked and a violation bad. of international law Two, oh yes yes bad very bad let's begin with that we got to condemn hamas that's number one, okay? Don't forget. Number one is condemn Hamas. That's where we begin. We begin October 7th. We condemn Hamas, first of all. No, what number one should be is the illegal occupation of the Gaza Strip committed by Israel. That's number one, and that's international law for you. Israel's collective punishment of civilians in Gaza is fucked and a violation of international law. Yeah, you should have begun with that. Law. And three, both one and two are happening in the context of an occupation which is fucked and in violation of international law. Failure to hold these three truths at the same time has been linked to uncritical exposure. Well, it's also linked to your uncritical uh, assessment of how an enslaved people should be fighting against their own annihilation. It's also, this was eight months ago before, you know, it became verified that the majority of civilians that were killed on October 7th were at the hands of the diaper forces and that the Hamas uh, militants, you're trying to say, I, I can understand this and I can understand that, but what you just did though is that you put it into people's minds that Netanyahu and Sinwar are the same and that is absolutely egregiously false. What you're missing is that the violence of the oppressor is qualitatively different than the violence of the oppressed. So Hamas conducting a military raid, or, you know, uh, breaking through the compound wall of the concentration camp that they live in in order to uh, violently resist their, their own annihilation, their own occupation, and killing innocent, so-called innocent civilians in the process is the fault of Israel. That's still Israel's fault. They're fighting against their own annihilation. What do you want them to do? It's like, it's the same thing. It's like, well, the slaves really should have resisted a little bit more refined, okay? They should have been a little bit more exact. They should have done this. They should have done that. It's like, no, you get Hamas and you get October 7th. Sorry, but this is how it works. Don't build your settler colony next to a concentration camp and fill that concentration camp with 2.3 million starving children, you know? And then don't place the music event right by the fucking concentration camp wall. Yeah, they wanted to take it to hostages because they know that hostages are effective in getting their own hostages back because let's not forget, I mean, this is just silly. I don't, I don't like it at all. They're condescending. They're not really on the side of Palestinian resistance. They're not really on the side of the Palestinians. They're just both sides in a genocide. They're not even right according to international humanitarian law. And that's another thing. It's like not even international humanitarian law. This doesn't go far enough. And I understand they're trying to be, look, we're so impartial, but you're not. You're, you're, you're just basically, you're equating Netanyahu with Sinwar. You're equating Israel with 
Hamas. I mean, there's just, there's there's no there's no comparison. There's no there's no power symmetry here, like we like we said, right? I challenge anyone to condemn Hamas in my presence. Closure of the brain to bullshit propaganda, of which we in the media are primary disseminators. Bullshit but you're good at doing that. Of course, been the cause of well, if you want to uphold international law, then you should start by talking international law. You should start by quoting international humanitarian law, quoting the rights and responsibilities of belligerent occupiers, quoting the rights of of resisted people, the rights of occupied people. You should start there and not just repeat uncritical and non-substantiated claims about Hamas killing children, killing, uh, you know, indiscriminately killing civilians. And that's all I got. That's all I got for you for this. But I didn't like that one bit. Nixon ordered Cambodian genocide. Clinton sent cruise missiles to Sudan. People died. Obama gave the orders to do drone strike.